well here it is my long-term test bike this is uh, Royal Enfield's 440cc brand new design they call it um, an adventure bike it's the Himalayan and you know what this is a fair income adventure bike because I've been having an absolute ball on it to be honest look this is a very simple motorcycle in a time when most adventure bikes are you know 1200 cc's they look a bit like Darth Vader come back to earth sort of thing you what you've got here is something that's really simple and solid it doesn't make a lot of power it sort of makes probably I think the the power figures look about the same as a 254 stroke but being a long stroke 440 it's it makes a sort of old pommy power you know plenty of torque it's got a five speed box it's just a lovely thing to ride it's got a low seat height so you know it suits short people or sometimes need to leg their way through river rocks or sand or all sorts of other stuff having done a, a lot of trail bike riding in my time you know I know that when things get really tough wet season up the Cape things like that you want a bike that you can just chuck in a canoe or you know pull it out of a ditch or something like that and sort it out really quickly and get it going again and this bike's all of those things it's simple it's solid it's got a beautiful Harris design frame and really good brakes which means that you get a whole world of joy just out of riding the throttle and smoothing right out and you know getting your old flip-flops going on the tar as far as uh, simple things like shopping and stuff like that goes it couldn't be better for shopping trips these boxes are just out of this world and it's a flat surface on top here box to box to seat to rack which means um, I'm not going to say I did this but you could stick a 40 series wheel up here and take it down to the garage to get the flat fixed <sighs> did I say I just did that no 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 what does it need it needs another muffler so that we can hear it it's a little bit too quiet um, and that's about it it gets amazing miles to the gallon getting 75 miles to the gallon got a 15 litre tank um, it's just simple it's solid it's kind of like a step through on steroids or something like that this is a fair income adventure bike so if you're into your four-wheel drives and you used to be into your bikes and you took one look at the new range of bikes and went whoa this is where you need to start looking guys especially if you're coming back into motorcycles because this is a bike that'll do everything any other bike will do you know with speed restrictions on the top end it'll cruise at 110 no worries but it does it a whole lot simpler it's just a lovely simple beautiful motorcycle to ride I, I've got a shed full of bikes and since the Himalayan's been there I really have to force myself to take one of the other bikes for a ride because um, it kind of reminds me of everything I loved or still do love about my matchless except that it's in tune and it's got really good brakes and it handles a whole lot better and blah and blah and blah and blah, and blah. Um, as far as servicing goes I couldn't resist it you know I had to have a good look over it and oh dead easy fair dinkum you know everything from the sight glass on the sump through to an oil filter that just screws in the side here through to sump plugs that are big and beefy so you can you're not going to have trouble you can get the spark plug out with a ring spanner or just a shifter if you had to you know, man we're talking motorcycling at its most basic but in a way at its best so um yeah well I'm having a ball and, and they're gonna have a lot of trouble getting this bike back out of me I can tell you that um, because sometimes keep it simple stupid really works well I suggest you go have a look at a Himalayan this is not the same as the other Enfields they've been building since 1950 you know they're lovely things I love them uh, this is all new and it's all new and it's all old at the same time it's just lovely right hey guys you're thinking about getting back into motorcycling it's absolutely perfect if you're thinking oh, I don't need 1200 cc's of adventure bike it's absolutely perfect